everyone. This is Anna from the Livingston Public Library. And today, we're going to make origami cherry blossoms. Now, this is a non-traditional origami shape, and you will need a pair of scissors. In traditional origami, you fold a square piece of paper, uh, but in this modern shape, we are going to use scissors. This is a beginner shape, great if you're new to origami. Um, this is also a great beginner for if you ever want to make an origami five-pointed star, which is actually uh, more advanced. Uh, but this is a great introduction shape, so let's get started. All right, as we discussed, you'll need a pair of scissors for this project, but we don't need them quite yet, so you can set them to the side. And we're going to begin by folding our paper so the white side is on the inside in half into a rectangle. As always, make sure your edges are perfectly aligned. Then we're going to take the top flap only and we're going to fold it upwards into a skinnier rectangle. Once you do that and you have a nice crease, unfold. Then we're going to take the bottom left corner, top flap only, and we are going to fold it diagonally upwards. So we have a little triangle shape here. Once again, make sure your edges are perfectly aligned. And once you get that, you can unfold and you see these two guidelines we've just created intersect at this point. So we're going to take the top right corner, the whole thing, and we're going to fold the top right corner to that point where our diagonal and our center line intersect. Take a moment and make sure it's perfectly lined up, and then you can go ahead and crease. So on the right, you sort of have this lopsided diamond shape, and we're going to take that corner where it meets the point, and we are going to fold it to the rightmost line. And so what you're going to end up is with sort of like an upside down uh, ice cream cone or like an upside down uh, crepe, one of those rolled up dessert crepes. All right, so then once we have that, we're going to take the top left corner, the whole thing, and we're going to fold it so that the top, what, what, what was the top edge, is going to meet the right side of our upside down ice cream cone. And so what we end up with is sort of like a, a modern art upside down heart. So we're going to take that heart and we're going to fold it in half from that point. So both sides will fold down and meet up. Now we're going to turn it upside down and we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to cut a rounded shape. You want to start lower on the left side and end higher on the right side. I'm choosing to do mine a bit higher so that my cherry blossom leaves will be a bit more rounded. If you want them a bit more pointed, start lower on the left side and still end at that higher right point. So here again, we have sort of like a lopsided uh, ice cream cone. And with that top point on the right, we're just gonna snip it off like this. And now we can discard our garbage, put aside our scissors, and now we're gonna unfold. And as you can see, we now have a cherry blossom, but we're going to go and make it a bit more 3D. So I'm going to fold in the petals as such. Doing this a couple times so you can see how to fold it. It's like each petal is getting, getting folded in half and accordion in. You might need to reverse some of your folds, so it might be a little bit tricky. But we're going to do this for the whole thing 
except for the last petal since you're not going to be able to fold in that last part. Oh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with one of my reverse folds, but don't worry. A little bit of patience and you'll get there too. All right, so here we have our accordion on one side and one petal on the other. So first on the side where they're all together, take that bottom diagonal and you're going to ever so slightly fold it up. The exact size doesn't matter just so long as it's more or less an even fold. So it's going to look like this. So then we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the same thing with our single petal. This side's going to be a little bit harder since you have that bunched up fold at the bottom point. Looks like this. And now we are going to carefully unfold. And then we are going to set each of the petals into the crease we just created. And we're going to go around to the back and just uh, make sure everything is settling nicely. So this little uh, bunched up point, I'm just going to press it flat to one side. And I'm just going to go around and smooth out all of the petals so that they're laying nicely. And there you have it. It's our cherry blossom. If you're feeling ambitious, you can make multiple origami cherry blossoms and use them to create an art scene like I've done here. Here I've taken a plain blue piece of paper. I used brown chalk to create the branches and I used yellow and orange chalk to create the sun. Uh, I used chalk, but of course crayons, paint, markers, any medium would be perfect to create your scene. And just you, then you just need a dab of glue to attach the cherry blossoms. And here's your beautiful art scene. I'll see you next time. Bye.